friends, I hope you all are doing great. I'm excited to be here today to share with you some cleaning tips that I learned from my mom. Some she taught me as a child, some she taught me as an adult, but I wanted to pass them along to you because they're quick and easy and I hope you will find them helpful. So let's jump right in. So you know how you have those air fresheners that are plug-ins and then you discard the old ones, they dry out and you put a new one in? My mom taught me never throw the old ones away because they're still useful and they still have a lot of scent in them even though they're dried out. What you want to do is you want to just sit it inside your china cabinets or your cabinets and they will have them smelling great. And it's an affordable way to do it because you're going to throw it away anyway. It works so well so now every time I open my china cabinet it smells delicious. Love this tip. The next tip my mom taught me was always keep a soft bristled paintbrush, you can get it from the dollar store, in your cleaning caddy or in your cleaning supplies and use it for your lampshades. Because lampshades are a delicate piece of decorative accessory and you can put dents in them really easy. And my mom doesn't like using those feather dusters on her lampshades because number one, sometimes the dust up top can be really on their tight and you want to be able to get it off. And the way to protect your shade and keep it looking new is with the brush. And it really works because this lampshade I've had for several years and I don't have not one dent in it. Whenever I use my feather duster and different things and go you know, outside of what she told me, I mess up my lampshades. This is such a great way to clean them and she also said to do it outside your door so that you just knock up the dust out real quick and then put it back on and you're good to go this tip just works so great and again when I use any other method it doesn't work as well the next tip I learned from my mom as a child, my brother and I, we were responsible for folding towels at a very young age. And my mom did not play about how her towels were folded. We were not about to have her linen closet looking any kind of way. She didn't care how old you were. And so she taught us early on the appropriate way for her, the way she loved for us to fold the towels. It's really simple, easy, and it allows for you to really keep your linen closet looking neat and easily fold your towels. And a great thing to teach your children at a young age. So I'm going to use this hand towel here and show you. So you want to make sure the, the open side, the flip side, with the tag is up front you just fold it in half and put it corner to corner and again teach this to your child at a very young age then you're going to fold it over one more time and then you just fold it over once more and that's it it helps keep your towels uniform it really keeps them neat and this is such an easy task that your children can do teach them early because this will take them such a long way i do this with all my towels now and i learned this as a little little girl and so definitely i encourage you to teach your children and it just keeps every Everything so neat in a simple way and so this is exactly how my mom always taught us to do it and I do it in my home to this day Okay, so my mom always told me, and she always tells me, stay away from stainless steel or metal toilet brush cleaners because all they're going to do is rust. She says, I know they're beautiful, but only get the inexpensive plastic ones because they will last you and they get the job done. And she's so right. Whenever I don't listen, I'm getting rid of it because it's rusted out and I'm going right back to what she told me to do. And so the best thing to do is to get the inexpensive one. And also another tip that she showed me is when you're cleaning your bathroom, after you clean your bathroom and everything, just as a maintenance type of thing what she encourages me to do and I do it now in my home is put just a little few drops of Clorox inside the toilet brush cleaner and that would just keep everything sanitary okay. and the next tip is crochet dishcloths and if you've been with me a while you know how much I love them and the reason I love them so is because my mom has me hooked on them for years she sent me some and I fell in love with them but they're great because especially if you have those white plates and things like that you don't want to scratch them and they're great for helping you get those food the food off and things like that easily because it has enough texture on it so that it doesn't damage your plate but it will get the food up and they're just so great they just have a great feel to them they really do get things clean and I'm hooked I just totally I love that uh, in my kitchen and that's really all that I typically use so those crochet dishcloths I love them and I'll put some links below to where you can get some if you're interested so I hope you've enjoyed these quick tips that my mom has kind of instilled with me over the years if you want more let me know in the comments I can share more of her tips with you I hope you all are doing great I want to encourage you to also check out my video I posted yesterday I'll link it in the description box below about how to put some sparkle in your home this fall season I also posted a new video on my at work with Nikki channel and I gave you a tour of 
of my current work bag I'm carrying and kind of how I have it organized. So I'll link that video below also. I hope you all are doing great. I'll see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.